finished building the Pyro Man 5. Didn't take long, I'd say maybe a little less, uh, somewhere around an hour, I guess, to assemble it all. I got my SD card with the recommended OS. I got monitor, keyboard. I'm gonna power it up and see what happens. Now, it said that the fans and stuff weren't gonna work without configuring, but they obviously seem to. And I may not be able to power this monitor without actually configuring possibly the HDMI. So I may actually have to just leave this running and then connect to it through SSH. So, it does seem to not be powering up the monitor with HDMI. I'm going to pause here. So I was not able to get to the device with a monitor yet. So I'm using SSH right now and I am connected to it through terminal on my iPad. And it is functioning. So I do have a little functioning mini computer with not such many power. So we have SSH'd in to the Pyroman 5. We are installing, we did the dependencies, installed Python 3 with the pip and the setup tools. We configured the GPIO to prevent shutdown on the ports on the side. And now we're installing the Pyroman 5 software. Once it reboots, we should be able to see information on the OLED screen, CPU, RAM, disk usage, CPU temperature, etc. And we should also get four LEDs that'll light up blue in breathing mode. And I'm not sure where those LEDs are, but well, if they light up blue, we'll see them. As it's still installing the software now. Again, copying over. Oh, whether to restart for changes to take effect, we will say yes. Connection is closed, so now the Pyroman will be restarting. And if it restarts properly, we will have information on this OLED display up here. And there we go. Got a quick reboot. And what we have down there, CPU temperature, IP address, RAM usage, disk usage. And considering my C computer, little computer is now blue. Oh, the CPU, oh, the CPU fan is what doesn't turn until it hits the temperature. Okay, I can see that it's not turning. But the case fans are and the LEDs uh, up on the top here, kind of hard to see, so I'm going to actually go upside down. You can see them up top here inside the case. So here's the case itself. I'm going to turn back around. Another awesome feature is that Pyroman is available through a web browser. Here you can see, I can see my network, I got my processor cores, memory usage, temperature, and storage. Got a history, got a log, and go into dark mode, OLED, turn it on and off, temperature, Celsius, Fahrenheit. Network interface, OLED rotation, RGB enabled, RGB color, 
brightness, RGB style breathing. So let's go with a uh, flow reverse. Why not? GPIO fan mode is always on right now. So there's some of the awesome features of this really cool little Pyro Man 5.